Watch it guys, if you're looking for the ultimate cooling solution for your Raspberry Pi 3 or 4, then the Armor Case a superior uh, cooling case for your RPI, which is ultimate cooling, aluminium alloy, CNC machined, and it does come with dual fan setup, which makes it super cool. Now as stock, the, the Raspberry Pi 4 does run at around about 50 odd Celsius temperature, so cooling it down is our main goal here. So this is everything you're going to get inside the kit for your Armor Case kit. You can see you've got your thermal pads here. These are to go on your CPU and your GPU and everything else. You've also got this, which I did a review on, which you can pick up on Amazon if you prefer to use the aluminium ones. It's up to you. And also we do have our user manual. This is to help you set it up. It's very simple and easy to do. I'll show you the whole process. It has got color pictures in it and also English text. It shows you how to do it for the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus and also for the Raspberry Pi 4B. So it covers both bases there. Now the screws here, there's four of them, and they give you five in the kit and an aluminium key. Now you can see the top piece here, this has been machined finished because it's done with a CNC machine. This is all made of aluminium, apart from the fans which are plastic and they are on the top. Now this is gonna help cool down the CPU and uh, the GPU and everything else on the uh, board itself and then draw all the heat into the actual aluminium. You can see the bottom piece is made of solid aluminium as well and uh, we're gonna be putting this all together in a second. So we've got everything we need here in the kit. Now if you've bought your Raspberry Pi, uh, Raspberry Pi 4, you'll know the temperatures do run a bit hot. I've got it running without any cooling on here or anything like that as it comes. And you'll see we do have a temperature of 54 uh, degrees Celsius, which is pretty toasty. Now, some of the cases you do get on the market are not that great, whereas this one is going to be fully aluminium and it's going to make it run really cool, especially once we get these pads on here. So let me just get these thermal pads on and these will help draw the heat out as well into the actual aluminium as well. And that will absorb all the heat built up in there because these do get pretty hot when they're pushed under load. Remember, these are idle tests that I was doing here and it's already 54 Celsius, which is not very good. So you want to get this temperature down. So you just have to remove the plastic on both sides of these little pads. It's very hard to get this to focus, but basically just remove two of the plastic and go over the chips here. OK, one on the right is the, your CPU. And that can get super hot and the others as well will get hot as well. So you need to cover all of these. OK, and that makes sure that it's going to dissipate any heat from those. It will draw the heat out and then it will be dissipated into the actual aluminium case itself, which is always a nice thing because this will get a bit toasty. So we've got the uh, pads on there now. All we need to do, I've put a pad on the bottom as well. There's a little piece of shiny aluminium or aluminum if you say that in the states but you'll see there i'm just going to put a little pad on there as well it doesn't tell you to do that but i'm going to do it because that's going to be directly under the cpu area and i want to make sure i draw as much heat out of there as possible so i'm just going to line these up on the holes here to make sure that sits properly and then all i need to do is put the top piece on and put the four uh, screws in or the aluminium uh, screws and then we'll tighten this down so make sure you got this round the right way. You need the fan cable facing towards the pins there, and that way you can uh, empower the two fans. But I just need to get this down on top. You should see that shiny area. That's going to sit right on top of those thermal pads there, which is going to draw the heat out into the aluminium casing. And this will help keep the whole unit cool. So we're just going to tighten this down now remember once you get this under load once you start doing stuff the temperatures is going to start to climb so the temps you were seeing there were just idle temps so you need to bring those down so when you do push it under load it's not going to start maxing out and taxing out the uh, the actual computer here so we want to keep this as cool as possible and of course you can understand it being so small it's going to get hot so we need to keep it as cool as possible and this little uh, case here is probably one of the best on the market if not the best at uh, keeping this uh, Pi 4 cool and it looks nice as well because it's all contained in a nice little area here you can't damage it it's all locked away inside there so it sort of gives it protection as well and you've got access to all your ports and also the card just need to plug the cable in and get some power to those fans but other than that, we're pretty good to go here. As you can see, just going to tighten this last one down. 
and there is plenty of fancy little cases out there on the market that do look pretty uh, nice with these uh, boards inside there but the problem is they just don't cool down uh, the computer itself it just gets really hot in there and that's the problem so these sort of uh, cases with the aluminium will cool it right down it's basically a giant heat sink what you're putting on there really with some thermal pads on the main chips and stuff so that's how it's keeping it nice and cool also give it some strength and some protection there but I do like it. it's probably one of the best on the market now I did buy a separate cooler uh, to do a review on and uh, it does keep the system cool but I'll probably still do it but the problem is it's just got no case around it and you can't find a case for it because it's too big but you can see you've got access to your fans here all the ports are all nice and open and you've got your access to your card here so it's all not locked away some of these older cases that you see on the market that make it very difficult to get access to these areas so we're just going to plug the cable in and give the fans a bit of power it does tell you which ones to connect this to the red and the black in the all user manual so just follow those and it should tell you uh, which ones to connect those to so let's get this uh, connected up and uh, we'll put some power to it and we'll test the temps of this uh, new case so I'm just checking here there we go and I'm just going to plug this in and I'm just looking at the diagram to see which ones it goes into I think it's the at the top two one from the end there so I just think it's on this one here I haven't got my glasses on there we go that's in and that's got a bit of power to it and now all we need to do is pull the cables in the power cable I've got my keyboard and mouse don't go in there as well already you can see that in there so all I need to do here is just give this a bit of power but let's just have one quick look before we power this up and that just looks so cool it's got some weight to it as well it looks so nice I do like it and I think this is just going to help with projects that I've got coming up with the Raspberry Pi 4 so stay tuned with that and I will put the link in the video description for the armor case if you're interested uh, it's not that expensive and if you've got one of these Raspberry Pis, you do want to get that temperature down because obviously running at them sort of thermals is not good uh, for the unit itself after a while. So let's get some power to this and we'll just uh, crack on and get the test results. So I've just got the power here. Now if you haven't seen the previous video where I did a review of the Raspberry Pi 4, that was basically a kit and I'll leave the link for that in the video description as well if you're interested in getting a little starter kit which comes all pre-installed ready operating system so if you're not familiar with that then obviously you just have to um, put it all together and it should boot up and you'll have the operating system done uh, but if you want to buy it all separately you can do so I'm just going to put the mini HDMI into here and that comes in the kit as well so just going to put all this together so what I'll do is I'll get this all set and then we can take a look at the results on the monitor here. So now we've got this all booted up, let's go back and take a look at the monitor and then we'll be able to see. You can see here down to 33 degrees, 32 degrees Celsius, which is pretty good because that means it's a drop of around about say 20, which is pretty good. And that means that when you're doing more taxing projects with your Raspberry Pi 4, that means it's already gonna run a lot cooler and that means it's not going to overdo it when you're say do it sharing big large files maybe doing a little file server a sharing server or something like that you're going to want to make sure that it's running really cool because it's going to be on all the time so you want to make sure you get it cool as possible and i think the armor case has done an outstanding job at doing that so i'll leave all the links in the video description if you're interested in this kit i did use the starter kit for the raspberry pi 4 and uh, this is a pretty decent bit of kit I'll put that in the video description as well if you're interested in that it comes with everything you need even including the case which I didn't use but it comes with a bunch of other stuff as well and I'll also leave the link for the armor case in there as well if you're interested in that as well anyway that's going to be about it for this video I hope this one's been useful to you my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk let me know what you want to see me do with the Raspberry Pi in the comments section below and I'll make those videos for you thanks again for watching bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos